All right. So thanks for being on here today. This is um, a little sneak peek at a new product that Sonova is coming out with already live, I believe, for NEM 3.0 in California for the big three utilities, SDG, &E, PG, &E, and SCE. Of course, it has to do with batteries and a lease product um, and a way to offer a great solution to homeowners coming up. So with that, Jay, our account manager, um, I'll have you take it away and give us this sneak peek as we prepare in the next week or two to transition to selling under NEM 3.0. Right on. Thank you very much for that. And uh, yeah, thanks for you guys' time here today. So um, let me share my screen here. All right, NEM 3.0 is right around the corner. What is Sonova doing about it? Um, well, we've come to market. I think we're the first to market um, with our offer. And essentially it's a free battery um, with a lease storage contract. Um, let's say $8,000 value here. Uh, make no mistake, you are making your full EPC on this battery. Um, for legal purposes, we had to put some type of value there in order for us to have free um, be in that offer. Um, so basically, and I'll kind of go through uh, some of the basics here with you guys. So again, it's a limited time. Sonova's offering customers a free battery. Um, it's gotta be a lease storage. And this is gonna really take a system in California without a battery post NEM3 uh, you know, those year one savings, it's, there are none. And I think even without a battery, lifetime savings over the span of 25 years is still negative based off any M3 changes. Um, adding a battery, as we all, I'm sure, will know or will come to know, um, will significantly change that. And uh, this offer uh, can bring that year one savings back up into the positive and then overall savings in the positive as well. Um, so huge value for California homeowners. Um, this is just kind of a timeline of, or this is just kind of a checklist of, of, you know, those details. It went live last week on the 15th, um, but don't feel bad if you're just getting training on it or just hearing about it now. Uh, you know, we rolled it out kind of softly um, and we're providing all the necessary, you know, hands-on training to really get this rolled out. We have until July 31st until uh, for this offer to expire. Uh, the great thing about this particular um, deadline is uh, let's say they saw, let's say the proposal and quote was generated on July 31st, um, but the customer wanted to take a week, you know, to decide. As long as that proposal was generated before the deadline and as long as it's still active and not expired, uh, we will still honor uh, this uh, this offer. So um, we're giving you as much time all the way to the wire to get as many of these deals in as possible. Again, it does have to be a lease storage available in the main IOUs, PG&E, SDG&E, SCE. Um, and of course, it comes with our 25-year coverage. Um, and what we've done is we've essentially adjusted your uh, pricing on the PV portion of lease storage for 2.9 and 3.9 um, in order for this to work. Uh, and we'll go into a little bit more detail as to what that means, but you know, obviously in this world, nothing is free. So uh, we had to, you know, how can we make this work where it's beneficial for the customer, beneficial for you, the dealer uh, and the rep. Uh, and of course, you know, how can Sonova get as many of these systems out as possible? Um, and so I'll go into more detail as to how we figured that. Um, one battery is defined as any of the following. So, you know, as of right now, power can only sell end phase batteries. That is scheduled to change uh, here very soon. Solar Edge should be going live, um, you know, either this week or next. I think it's pending just a few things. So you will have the option to do either end phase or Solar Edge. Uh, and please note right here, it says three end phase, 3.36 or 3.36 T. So essentially it's that one end phase 10 kilowatt battery that we are offering, not just one single three kilowatt battery, if that makes sense. Uh, <clears throat> this is the timeline of kind of how we intend to market this. 
Um, and, you know, you guys are more than uh, able to, Jonathan, I know you have uh, invested a ton in your marketing and co-branding. Um, you are more than welcome to, uh, you know, co-brand this offer, um, you know, power, free batteries, and, you know, however you want to, you know, position that or play that. Um, you guys do have that, that option available. Um, where you've already started the social media stuff, it's already on LinkedIn. You guys are probably um, have gotten emails or starting to get emails. Um, and you'll see this, you know, paid advertisement through, through Instagram and Facebook and so on and so forth. So, you know, our goal is really to try to get this in front of as many customers as possible. In my opinion, if you're in California selling in these main three IOUs, there's no reason why you should not be pitching this, uh, this, uh, this offer. Um, I mean, it, it, a free battery, it just doesn't make sense to offer anything else in my opinion, unless maybe someone's fixated on, on loans. Um, so this is some quoting examples. This is for Catalyst, which you guys don't have access to, um, but this is a good slide because this is gonna give us um, kind of some examples of how that pricing matrix works in comparison to the previous. Um, to keep it as simple as possible, I like to bullet point things. I mean, I was in sales and, and that's kind of how I, I feel like it's, you know, recepted uh, the best, received the best. Um, so it's gotta be elite storage. It's gotta be um, a 2.9 or a 3.9 escalator. And uh, typically it's gotta be about 8%. The whole deal has to be about 8% higher than what you would have normally sold that deal at. Um, let me rephrase, um, maybe five to 10 cents higher in your average solar rate might be easier to digest. Um, or another way to put it is about a dollar, dollar 50 or so higher on your um, EPC per watt. Uh, so in these examples, uh, we've taken the average system sizes that we have currently or are selling currently in these markets. Um, so you can see here in PG&E, an average system size of 7.7 .7 kilowatts with a production ratio of about 1300, um, about 1370. With a 3.9 escalator, that final EPC per watt would be 621. And again, I had mentioned just, just a few minutes ago, about a dollar or so higher. This same 7.7 .7 kilowatts you know, system, under normal circumstances, probably has you in about a $455 price per watt. So again, you can see we're about a dollar or so more. Um, but even though that seems kind of high, what we need, how we need to value prop this to the customer is, is solar rate versus utility rate, right? So in the same scenario in PG&E, that solar rate is at 25 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, and again, these are averages, so you can sell a little bit lower, a little bit higher to find that sweet spot. Um, but at 25 cents per kilowatt hour, again, the proposition is us versus the utility in PG&E. Their rates are, I wouldn't say significantly higher, but they are definitely higher than 25 cents a kilowatt hour. So no matter what, at the end of the day, we're still saving the customer money in a sense, even though we are charging a little bit more per watt. Uh, and then, of course, that's compounded over time, right? Because utility rates will continue to increase um, at a higher rate than either 2.9 or 3.9% in your escalators. Um, and then these are just further examples, SDG&E, SCE. &E. Again, you want to find yourself in that 20, 25, 26 um, cent per kilowatt hour range. Um, and that'll successfully get you uh, a generated proposal with the free battery. Let's talk about the, the logistics. Like how does this work? What do you do when you're quoting this out? And Jonathan, I was hoping maybe, cause this is live, we might be able to do a couple of mock examples together here um, just to kind of play with, with, with how this works in the system. Sure. But essentially this is where you would be building out a quote in PC2. I'm sure this looks familiar. Um, again, dealer EPC per watt. Um, you, your escalator at either a 2.9 or 
Um, in this particular instance, uh, we're charging $6.46 per kilowatt hour. Obviously, this is going to depend on system size, right? So, I mean, you can't charge $6.21 for a three kilowatt system, maybe, right? That's not going to work. Um, so, taking all those things into consideration, of course. Um, in this instance, $6.46. And then you'll see here EPC to dealer under the battery add-on is $1. Um, and that's because PC2 simply will not allow you to enter a zero. Um, you have to add a new uh, a digit in there. Um, now $1 spread across 25 years in the contract, it will show as zero for the battery. Um, you know, it's not just going to show one dollar, but I do want to be clear. It's not going to work unless you do that. Um, and the customer can take it even a step further by adding a secondary battery. So if you added a secondary battery, uh, essentially that new payment would come out to forty four dollars and eleven cents. But that would be the cost for technically two batteries. So. You know, if you want to position that conversation as buy one, get one, kind of in that, you know, kind of somewhere in there where, you know, you're paying the same price that you would under normal circumstances, but this time you have two batteries adding even more resiliency, you know, so on and so forth. That might, I mean, if I was in sales, that might be something that I would pitch and I would probably lead with that. And then assuming they, you know, if they don't want to add that other battery, cool, no worries. At least you're getting a free one. Like that. But that's kind of the, the, the bird's eye view of this offer. Um, I think it's going to be great for you guys to, you know, offer this to homeowners. Um, it's really going to uh, give you guys kind of a niche in the market. And the reason is I understand that there's going to be other uh, providers in the market that will offer kind of a similar deal, but with limited capabilities. So. Uh, I'm not going to name any names, but I understand that, you know, a similar offer is going to be available, but the battery that they're providing is strictly for load shifting um, and will not have backup capabilities. So, uh, and I think that leaves a lot of room for, um, you know, uh, miscommunication or just a lot of room for upset customers, because I mean, think about how that's going to be, you know, if I'm a customer, you're telling me I get a free battery. It's really only intended for load shifting. Maybe I tell you I understand, but you know, really, I probably don't understand what that means. And then the power goes out and I'm thinking, hey, I have a battery, I'll be good. But my power also goes down when the grid goes down because the lack of that backup capability. Um, and I just think that that's half-assed. Um, you know, what we're offering is the full battery, full capabilities, backup, load shifting, uh, you know, all of that for free. So it's by far a better offer than what you might be competing with in the market. Um, but that takes me through the slides. Jonathan, I don't know if you want to maybe log into your PC too, and, and we could maybe build a mock one or kind of how did you? Uh, yeah, you know. absolutely. Thank you, Jay. And um, just to put it out there too, as far as I know we talked yesterday a bit and it's to be determined, but like, let's say a customer didn't, we wanted to go with this promotion and they maybe, we didn't sell it with the backing up of circuits. It could get our cost of goods lower and allow us to give them a better price or maybe make more commission or a mixture of both. But do, do, do we have any clarification on that yet? Like, could we instruct power not to back up circuits thereby decreasing our cost of goods? Um, any thoughts on that? So I did put that out there. Um, I'm, I, I don't have a, a solid, uh, response for you yet, Jonathan, on that. Um, you know, could you, uh, you know, limit the capabilities? Um, sure. Um, could you then structure the pricing to reflect that? Mm, sure. Um, but I, I, I want to confirm first. Uh, that it's not going to affect that dealer EPC at the end of the day. Like, you know, I, I don't want you guys losing money um, because you turned off the capability of a battery, but that doesn't change the financial uh, structure or offering on our end. 
Um, I'll have to get into more detail, uh, or I'll have to get more uh, detailed answers for you, Jonathan. But I, you know, theoretically, I, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do that. Okay, let's uh, let's knock this out real quick, and then we can maybe do some questions to the group. So, just to reiterate, guys, a free battery offer with Sonova on a lease storage. Right now, we have end phase with power, soon to be Solar Edge, hopefully in the next week or so, and. Um, it's going to be a few cents higher per kilowatt hour to, to accomplish this. And it has to be with a two nine or three nine escalator. And it has to be in SCE PGE SDG and E. And it has a current expiration of uh, July. So. Uh, and and just to reiterate the- too, it's, it has to be a lease will not work for a loan. It's gotta be lease. Lease storage one battery free. And I love how you said buy one, get one. Like, Hey, we got this special promo, two batteries, buy one, get one. Um, yeah, and... I think that's almost sounds better than free in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, no I think free, free, like to a, to a customer, like something's up, right? Like this customers are smart and right. uh, they might want to look into that deeper. Here's the other side of this, you guys. Because the EPC is raised and that solar rate is raised, you want to be sure that you're doing your best to close this customer on that first call or second call. Um, When you give them the ability to shop your pricing, some competitor is going to be like, oh, yeah, they give you a free battery, but they're charging you $6 per watt, right? So we want to be sure that we're, we're providing that value to them up front and really getting them to see the light at the end of the tunnel on that first or second call, because they will shop. Right. And, um, you know, if that happens, then they're going to start to pick apart kind of why is it charged so much, you know, so on and so forth. Well, with the lease, yeah, with the lease, hopefully they're not just seeing the PPW price per watt. They're seeing the price per kilowatt hour that we're charging them. And with our cost of goods model, we should be able to make a decent commission and give them a better deal, especially with this product. So let's do a quick example here um, and correct me as I go along, Jay, but we have a SoCal Edison, Dolores Baldon, probably your relative, Jay. And we got a, just kidding. SoCal Edison, time of use four to nine is the current plan that most of our clients are on. Or uh, is that what I should put? Time of use four to nine? Yeah. And then post-install plan is time of use Prime NEM 3.0 is the only NEM 3 option I'm seeing in the drop down. Oh, time of use pilot program. I don't know who comes up with all these options. So we have time of use pilot program option three, or we got time of use prime NEM 3.0. That sounds more like it. More li- more than likely that will be it. Yeah. Um, just a little caveat real quick. If Because this is live. If you guys sell one of these today and happen to get their application in before any M3, right, before that April 14th deadline, um, it will still be honored. It's not just an NEM3 thing, right? So right. there's there's a chance that they get a free battery and they're locked into the NEM2.0. Okay, cool. And when you have a battery, um, you are allowed to do D prime, just also FYI. So likely prime NEM3 is going to be. All right, so here we have a SoCal Edison on four to nine. We're getting them solar under the new NEM3.0. We're saying the utility goes up at least 2.9 per year, which should go up more than that. And we got 14,000 of usage. All right, so let's hit save and continue. I'm gonna bust out this design um, in literally two seconds, create new design. I got RECs, uh, alpha, pure black. I think we're switching to 405s. So I'm just gonna use 400 because that's what my solo proposal has on here. So I'm going to do 21 of them. If you don't know how to do this, there's additional trainings. I'm going to do N phase IQ eight M's right now. Only Sonova has the N phase battery soon solar edge. So we actually have to do N phase, um, pick whatever monitoring. And then we all know that we can hit details. Tilt's 30, azimuth is 179, no shade. So I'm going to do tilt 30, azimuth 179, and 97% solar availability. 
And there we go. Um, now, do I, I have to? Another array on that design. Yeah, I just put um. Since they're both south facing, just for the ease of this proposal, I'm just putting 21 total. No um, worries. So let's do that. And then, do I do anything on the system add-ons at this time? Yep. Do I add? So I add on a battery. Correct. We have the end phase. We've got the 336. Um, so the 3T is the newer, slimmer model. Um, they're both, you know, the same. Up to you. Do you know which one we're procuring at the moment? They're procuring both. Um, I would select the 3T. And then it is technically three of those. Correct. And how many IQ battery inverters do we need? So it's times four, the battery amount. So 12 inverters. Four for every 3.36. Mm -hmm. And do I need to click modify yep. gateway quantity? Just that first controller. And then uh, quantity one is fine. Then save and continue. All right. So this will be a one battery exercise. If we were doing two, we would type six, um, 3.36s. Right. All right. So now the fun part, um, we have to do lease storage for this promotion of a free battery. And um, I would select dealer EPC per watt and then get that final price per watt. Um, in so solo. you could do it either way, but do I, I'm assuming I need to add a battery in the design. Sure. Yeah. It's just the, all right. So we added a battery. We got margin commission in that we got, a good little six grand commission on this job as well. No other adders are needed for this project. And the cash price puts us at $5.32. So technically to make the 6G's commission plus some commission in the battery, um, Sonova needs to pay us $5.32. Correct me if I'm wrong. So right. dealer APC per watt, $5.32. 532. And, um, um, you got to select either 2.9 or 3.9, perfect. And then EPC to dealer, enter $1 there from the sister, uh, from, on the system add on. So, yep, enter $1 there. Now, um, now okay. So, with, um, with a 3.9 escalator, that means the starting monthly is actually going to be a little bit less to pay us 532. So if you want to show a hair more savings sooner, I'm assuming the three nine escalator is going to look a little bit better on the payment. 100%. Three nine escalator will give you that lowest possible year one payment. Um, really the lowest possible payment for the first 12 years or so. Um, right. And that's when you would essentially break even. Um, and with this, Promo, you have to be a 2.9 escalator or a 3.9 escalator to get this free battery lease storage promotion. Okay, so what we're looking at is a $203 payment. The solar rate, as you can see, 16 cents, um, and our EPC per watt at 532, bringing that total EPC to 44,689. Um, you can see there a monthly add on payment, one penny. Um, again, in the contract, it will actually, it should say zero. Um, so we don't want customers thinking like, I thought it was free. Why is it a penny? Um, so it, it will show zero. Um, now go to the solo proposal for me real quick. And let, let's see what, what was that total cash price? 532, 532 would put the cash price at 44,686. So let's go back to the Sonova Hub, 44,686. And, and also... If your customer's using 14,000 kilowatt hours at 30, what do you all want to put? 34 cents? Oh shit. Hold on one sec. 34 cents. That means they're paying literally 400 bucks a month right now. And then um, I think that's what you're verifying there, Jay. So just to point out, $203, this is estimating a $70 utility bill. Um, so that's 270 and I'll even be generous to go to 300. 
Now, if if your proposal and savings utility bill is correct, um, I'm thinking it, I don't know if it's going to save a hundred bucks a month or not, but regardless, this is pretty, pretty cool to see. My only my only feedback would be I would probably set expectations that this utility bill might be a little bit higher, and of course we have to program in the load shifting. So, um, um, well. right, correct. I, I would add this to the save list, um, and then let's go ahead and go to the quote here real quick, so it gives us the full breakdown, Jonathan, if you don't mind. Okay. And Anthony, j just as a, a note, um, this is only for like a few people at this time, we'll, we'll roll this out to other people since this is pretty high level. Um, but, and this is being recorded as well. I'll share with you. All right. So let's go to add to save list and um, I'm going to hit save the quote. Go to quote and let's view that proposal. Jay's probably like, that. Yeah, that's too good to be true. <laughs> well, you make it look so easy, bro. I, I love it. Jordan, Luis, Sean, you guys tracking this decently so far? Hopefully. Now, remember, you guys, um, you know, our solar rate in this example is 16 cents, 17, right? Yeah. 17 cents in comparison to a 33 cent utility rate. Um, so you have room here, right, to maybe get into that 22 cent kilowatt, uh, 22 cent solar rate, 25 cent solar rate, and still save the customer money, but increasing your margins even further. Right? So, um, you know, tons of room to to kind of play around with those margins and, and get you get you paid. Yeah, and I, also too with like the legacy solars out there and all these other companies that sell these, they're doing just bill swaps, right? So we're probably even coming in lower by having our margins a little bit higher than what most people in the industry are doing with leasing at this point. Exactly, 100%. Yeah, the conversation is, you're absolutely right. You hit on the head. It's a bill swap now. You know what I mean? For California homeowners, it's no longer, hey, let me save you hundreds of dollars. It's let me get you more resilient energy and more clean energy. Um, and for some people, I don't care about that, right? So this is a way for you to bring back that old value prop of, hey, let's save money. All right, so now we open the proposal. 25-year system and battery covers. That's freaking nuts. Yeah, it's, it's in all of our TPO products, um, bumper to bumper coverage of, of the battery is huge. There's no one, I mean, I think the longest uh, warranty or whatever you want to call it on a battery uh, being offered from anyone in solar is like 10 years and which is stupid that's basically the manufacturer warranty yeah um, and you have to pay extra for them to repair replace maintain whatever um, not in this instance so again huge value like this gives you guys the edge over your competitors when you're out there. so now my we gotta be careful go ahead paul I was just going to say, we got to be careful on the savings, guys. One battery yep. for almost every customer is going to barely do anything. So we can't just say we're going to put on a battery, charge 23 cents a kilowatt hour, make a shit ton of money, and it's a bill swap. It's not going to be a bill swap. Like, you need two or three batteries for even the smallest of people using $200 a month an hour. So we just got to be careful about hey, we're going to charge all this money and it's going to make sense with one battery. That's not true. So I'm, yeah. I'm cool. The program looks cool and stuff, but we got to be careful on our semantics and being honest with people. Yeah, I, I do want to just give a little feedback to the team, maybe, Jay, that my offset here was only 103%. Now, this is showing a new utility bill of 69. Now, I'm just going to go as far to say that this could be under Nenium 2.0, Jay. Like, if a customer only has a hundred percent and they're using between four to nine, they could have a 40 to $70 bill under NEM 2.0. So I right. think this is being a little too generous in my opinion. Um, I do understand that the battery will help load shift at the right times. 
with our clients, but um, yeah, my pushback is going to be that this is really generous, but I'm loving the direction that this product is going. This is super cool. Thank you, bro. Yeah. You got to remember that one battery, one end phase battery is going to ship seven whole kilowatt hours. That's not that much. Right. But the caveat is it's going to shift it during the right times, right? In any M3. So everything you're saying is 100% accurate. Um, and, and I think that brings me back to my point uh, earlier in this, uh, in this presentation of, you know, I'm not so much a fan of free as I am a fan of buy one, get one, right? You're able to offer a homeowner two batteries for the price of one, essentially. Um, and Paul, it sounds like that's probably something that you would be doing to make sure that, hey, look, you got, you're setting the right expectations with these homeowners in terms of their backup capabilities and their load shifting capabilities. If they really want to take advantage and really be in the positive here post any and three, two batteries or more is recommended. And so I agree with you, Paul, 100%. That's a great point. Yeah. And when you guys uh, are saying the one or two batteries, you're talking about three, three, three kilowatt batteries, right? Correct. Okay. Yeah, correct. two, ten, yeah, so one, two, ten. Yeah, so the three you're, batteries you're, would equate to that one end phase 10 kilowatt battery that you would figure. find in solar. Did you touch on the, the fact that we can do ground mounts as well um, with leasing now? Yeah, you know, so... Um, you are now able to do ground mounts and leases of TPOs and loans. It's always been on loans. Uh, but so the availability of ground mounts to TPOs now is huge. I've been getting a lot of requests for ground mounts. So I know that that's going to be exciting for a lot of reps. This will work for that too. I always thought that was possible. Um. <laughs> ground mounts was loans only up until maybe a week ago. All right, so let's do two batteries now then um, as practice, Jay, on this specific client. So we're going to do six of the 3.36. We're going to do 24 of the IQ battery inverters. And do you know if we need uh, one gateway sufficient or two? Uh, one is sufficient. Um, I, wouldn't add, I wouldn't add one. It's not necessary. All right, so let's save this. And then I went well, While ahead. you're doing that, JB... Yes. Um, Jay, does the, uh, so when we say this is for lease only, does that just mean lease or can, can the PPA or the PPA EZ be used or is it just lease? That's a great question. It is just lease. Um, and I'm sorry, I know yeah. PPA and that PPA storage is, is the biggest request that I get all the time. Uh, we get it all the time across all the dealers. Um, um, I can't tell you why. We don't have it. I can't tell you when we will have it. Um, lease only for now. And Jay, there's no buyout during the lease. There is a transfer team department ready to go. And at the end of the lease, can you remind me, is it renew the agreement, take back the system? Um, is there a buy option at the end of a lease? And there, yeah. And what's the so one I'm remove forgetting? The system. They could remove the system at no cost. They can continue the agreement on two five-year terms or up upgrade. to two five terms or upgrade, correct. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to finish with the two battery system. Um, I went ahead and updated my adders in my proposal tool. We got some juicy commission in the batteries. We got a good commission in the margin. And that puts us at 6.64. Oh, yeah. The one thing also that I should mention is that the cap for this particular program is raised as well. So it went from a $7 cap to an $8 cap. Uh, there we go. That's in, uh, I was about to say that's in California, but yes, this promo is only for California big three utilities. So 6.64 dealer EPC, 3.9 escalator to show a starting lower monthly price. Um, battery add-on, do I need to put $1 or $2? $2. $2. So here you're going to actually enter the cost of one full battery, which was, I think, 16179 Do I need to adjust my dealer EPC per watt since that includes batteries? Right. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's take the let's take the battery out of that equation. So two batteries. Yes, just just as if it was only the one battery, correct. Um 
16179. And then that final EPC per watt, I think was 530. So the second battery for us, Jay, is 10,855. So do you recommend that we enter? Uh, 10,000, yeah, sorry. That's what I would enter for that. Um, and then adjust the 664 accordingly, please. Oh, you're right, sorry. That always throws me off here. So now we went down to one battery, hit update. We're still at the $5.32. So we're doing a two battery, buy one, get one, 10, eight, five, five. All right, look good. Looks good to me, let's run it. What do you guys think? I think it's 19.2 cents. I always hold my breath on this part. <laughs> I always get excited at this part. T to see the commission that we make, let me, did something happen here? How the hell is it 17 cents? Monthly Sonova payment. Um, so so you see how it says monthly add-on payment 302.39. I don't know why the system does this, uh, but say add to save list and save one quote, and these numbers are gonna adjust. Oh, is 302 the total? Well, no, it, sh it shouldn't be 302 at all. It should be. Um, oh, I, see, I see what you're saying. It's still yeah. 16.9 for the solar, but the battery has a separate monthly. So let's there, go. There you go. So let's now the monthly add on is correct on that. All right, let's check out this sweet proposal for a pretty average home, too, guys. You know, 14,000 use, um, 397 average bill. And an 8.4. This is the epitome of, of yeah. average Cali. And this is south facing. So keep in mind that shade or direction does impact the uh, the payout on leases. Correct. And we yeah, don't have to, Jay, add any extra to the cost. What's I'm sorry, that? say that again. One more sorry. time, Paul. Was there a question there? Sorry. I don't know if he has cell phone coverage. Oh, I think we lost you, maybe. Yeah, let's give it a minute. All right, let's check out this new proposal now with two battery. But what were we at before? If I go back to my quotes here it was like 211 or we something. were at we were at 203. 203 yeah so we literally went up 50 dollars a month 253 now i'll do a little bit of math for y'all because i don't know if it says the price per kilowatt hours for 253 times 12 is $3,036 divided by the production of the system, 14,454. So this is 21 cents. So we did go from 17 cents uh, to 21 cents for the second battery. And you still have room. And we're right. getting some fat commission. We're at 21 cents with a 3.9 escalator. And uh, the utility bill here, just to give feedback again to the team, um, I do feel like this should change depending on the number of batteries that, and well, it actually went it down, 69. sorry. It I actually it went down $7. Yeah, $7. it went down a little bit, yeah. Yeah, my bad, $7 a month. Um, but I still think 63 is way, is way too low of an expectation to set, so. Pretty damn cool though, Jay. Um, I'm, I'm pretty freaking impressed with, with what we're able to give a client post NEM three with one or two batteries and still make a great amount. Um, right. Super impressed. I mean, we're, we're really trying to give you guys the best possible products to sell in the market. And we really care about your guys' success. And um, I think that this product is, is going to help, help boost, you know, everyone's business. Um, there's not another uh, product like this that is going to be offered. So, you know, run with it for sure. But this is a great example. Thank you for doing this with me, JB. I appreciate you, brother. 
Yeah, and, and maybe just for fun, let's just real quickly see two batteries, the same exact deal. And guys, by the way, we're using RECs and IQ8Ms for this freaking this top of the line system. Example, top of the line with the best commissions of power. I don't know why I'm selling you guys so hard because you're already the best of the best. Um 25 years, 799, 369. Holy shit. Well, we don't, you know, that that doesn't have an escalator, but it is fair to compare it up against 253. And they don't have to worry about a giant loan or getting a giant tax credit. And there's benefits to ownership, don't get me wrong. And then if you were to take $253, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not sharing the right screen. Um, so I, I took that same deal with two batteries and I put on a 25 year 799 loan right now and we're at 368. Sheesh. 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 So 253 on the lease. I'm going to go ahead and multiply that 1.039 to see how many years it would take to catch up to 368. So year two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 years to get to 370. So I just want you guys and everyone watching to be aware that 253 on this Sonova deal with the lease is pretty darn cool. Um, to get guaranteed savings for 11 years and not worry about a tax credit and get 25 years of battery. So I plan to offer in a NEM3 environment, I plan to offer a finance, a lease, and maybe a cash, and we're going to freaking win no matter what. Yeah. There's, there's, like I said earlier, there's no reason for you not to be pushing this product. I mean, putting it up against the loan, you can already see um, significant savings. And, and I mean, dude, that two batteries and you're in solo said it was like 27, something, 20 something thousand. Like as a homeowner, I have $20,000 will be better spent elsewhere. Right. So, um, you know, no money out of pocket, you get the same system and uh, you're saving money. It's a win, win, win. That's right. You know why Jake? Because all we do is win, 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 no matter no what. No matter what. Like wow. it. Like it. Oh, gosh. Any questions, questions, comments, concerns? Anybody? Questions, guys? Paul, are you back? Or are you still in no cellular zone land? Yeah, I'm back a, a little bit, guys. I really appreciate you guys all taking the time to do this. What oh, was that qu question? Oh, I think we missed I think we missed your question from earlier. Did, did you have a question? I did have a question that was super important and made me sound really, really smart and I totally can't remember it. <laughs> so maybe next time. <laughs> well, you guys know how to get a hold of me, so no worries. Hey, Paul, a, a little bit, a little bit better of a feeling after post NEM3 that you still might have a job? Just wondering how you... <laughs> I don't know. I mean... I'm still a realist, so I realize that in 25 years, $253 is going to be about $550 a month for somebody. And I'm not saying that the utility bill won't be that high or anything like that, but that's still, that's still, that number makes me nervous. But Fair. that's okay. You know, we just got to sell it. I used to sell stuff like that in Solar City back in the day, you know, 10 years ago. So all we can do is be the educated consultant, give them both two or three options and See do what you happens. recommend we do a 0% escalator on any of these customers? We Jay? cannot. It has to be a 2.9 or a 3.9 escalator for this promotion. Yeah. For the promotion. The only, okay, gotcha. Yeah, the only way it'll work is, is correct with those escalators. Um, and obviously, if you we don't offer uh, them, you could offer them a lease without, you know, you could still do it and give them a that, but they're going to pay for it. It's not going to be the promotional offer. Right. And I'm just thinking for like these last week and a half of customers still want to lease in the NEM 2.0 structure. Um, the zero percent escalator will still work in that case, though, right? Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, you For the, to access the pricing that we just went through, uh, those those boxes have to be checked. So lease storage two point nine or three point nine um, to get into that pricing matrix. Otherwise, it's all business as usual. Gotcha. Cool. Um, yeah, just to clarify, the promotion of a free battery where Sonova pays more is. Um, through July, and it does have to be with an escalator, even under NEM2, it still has to be with an escalator, correct? 
Yeah, that's that, that's correct. Um, that two point nine and three point nine is an absolute must for this to work. Um, but you know, I want to get too fixated on that with the customer. You know, explain that of course that there is an escalator of so three point nine in comparison to how often the utility or the rate in which the utility increases is there is no comparison. Um, and and you know, offering uh, that lower monthly payment initially for the first eleven years as we've come to find. Uh, you know, I think I think let's spend more time talking about that than hey, it's a three point nine escalator. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, with inflation rates, you know, nine years ago, we were saying two nine is the same as inflation. And today it's like a third of inflation. So shouldn't be hard to sell an escalator. Cool. Um, anything coming for loans, Jay? Come on, get us a loan product also. <laughs> I know, I got you. Um, you know, I think there is something in the works. We have been talking about, like I said, PPA with, with storage is... Um, you know, an ongoing conversation. Uh, how do we make our loans more appealing? Also an ongoing conversation. But, you know, I think in terms of loans, we, we're still pretty competitive. It's not the most competitive with our dealer fees. And uh, so, you know, even if you are pushing a loan, I think it makes more sense to do it through Sonova because you're just, you know, you're going to make more, right? So, uh, but if there is anything on the, on the horizon, I'll be sure to update you guys. So you'll, be, you'll be the first to know, JB. Very cool. Um, well, yeah, this gives me a lot of confidence and faith moving forward into NIM 3.0 land. Um, Paul, do you have one more thing? I, to add? I remember you that smart comment. I did, bro. Hey, so Jay, do you guys like with this whole new NIM 3 world, not everybody's going to save money right away. Are we still not able to have a negative savings initially? Oh my God. I love that you asked that, Paul. Um, year one You're welcome, savings buddy. block. Uh, year one savings block, if not already, has been removed. I think it has been removed, uh, but if not, it is scheduled to be removed. Uh, so that will eliminate having to, you know, manipulate the the numbers to pass year one savings. Uh, that project block. Atta boy, cool deal. Yeah. It's been a long time coming to that one. Thank God. And then uh, when are we starting the sales contest for a, a trip to Cabo with you, Jay? And, and <laughs> when is that going to be? Because all we do is win, win, win. Yeah. Um, look, let's iron out the details. I'm, I'm happy to do. I'm happy to definitely be in Cabo. So whatever, whatever you guys want to do, let me know. Uh, all right. Company black card here. We're, we're good. Let's go. Are you going to be on stage for Masterclass on April 5th? Um. I think there's talks about it. I, I'm not committed um, to a time yet, but okay. um, you know, obviously, I'd love to. I'd love to come back, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm. I work with Rachel, uh, you know, on a daily basis, so I, I think we might be able to put something together, but um, not in the books yet. Let's get you on a Tuesday training, um, April fourth or eleventh. If you want to let me know what's good for you there, and okay. um, I'll share this recording with other people and then i did have the solar edge rep jason um gave him your cell phone told him you're a you're an okay cool guy and uh let's get solar edge on your platform as well but appreciate everything today though jay yeah for sure and uh yeah i talked to jason earlier i'm actually meeting him for coffee here in a little bit so um solar edge will be on um i'm you know again i want to arm you guys with as many tools as possible being only able to sell in phase right now is not ideal so um, I am moving that needle. It's just, uh, you know, there's multiple parties involved. It has to go through different hands and departments. And so, um, but it will get done. Sounds good. I'm going to stop the recording.